Okay, so the next tip is that I want you to build a good quality, supportive team. And when I mean team, I mean everybody. Everyone that you come into contact with on a daily basis effectively is your infrastructure, is your team, is your support network. There's been many, many inspirational gurus over the years saying you become like those you mix with the most. And I'm a strong believer of that. If you mix with someone that is slightly higher in terms of uh, ability level, then the likelihood is you're gonna be stretched. I've experienced it myself when I've gone out with faster and stronger riders, when I've run with people that have a much better pace than me, and they stretch you, and it's fantastic. It's a great environment to be in. But also, you need to understand that that network goes just beyond your coaches, goes beyond those people that you're training with in the sporting world. It reaches relationships, so partners. It, it works, uh, the network goes to your friends, to your family members. And of course, I'm not saying that they're no longer important, but what I'm saying is I want you to think about the choices that you're making right now. Think about the company that you're keeping and whether they, your support network, support and understand the commitments and the requirements of you and whether you can honestly say making a choice right in this moment, whether they are supporting and feeding good quality energy and growth and development towards that future version of self, towards those future aspirations, or whether they're holding them back, holding you back, holding back the comments, holding back the uh, your growth and development, whether they're supporting you in the right way. Now, this may not be a reflection of you, so it may not be something that is, is happening of you. It might not be a reflection of you, it may be a reflection of them. They are producing behaviors that aren't supportive. So I just want you to think about that for a minute. Perhaps if you need, write down a few names or just think about it over the next couple of days. Consciously notice the language that your support network use, whether they're inspiring, motivating you, whether they're giving you good quality energy or whether they're holding you back as a result of their own belief structures, their own reflection, and whether uh, perhaps even they feel intimidated by your growth and development. So I want you to think about this. It can be a very difficult stage for people when you start to let those people go from your life. However, remember, are the choices that you're making right now based on that future version of yourself, how you visualize yourself being in the future, whether you're committed, whether you're driven, whether you've got enough power to achieve that, or whether you are held back, whether you're making choices based on the past, whether you're associating choices in the in the present based on that past reflection and whether that past reflection is actually going to allow you uh, to, to reach that new level of self. So think about your team, think about your support network and whether they're supporting you right now in the present moment.